It's March 2017. I was fed up about having to scroll through things I didn't care about on my Steam Activity homepage. If you don't know what the Steam Activity homepage is, think of it as the Facebook wall for the PC gaming distribution platform Steam. Here you can see all the screenshots, new games, groups, and statuses posted by your Steam friends. I came up with the idea to make a Chrome extension that would filter your Steam Activity feed by your friends list, i.e. you could select specific friends to show or hide posts from from the Activity page and save those friend preferences for later. Fast forward a few weeks, it's now the 20th of March. I I finished programming the extension, created a Chrome developer account, made the promotional images with my garbage skills, using the free trial of Photoshop, and finally I was ready to post the extension. And as soon as I posted it, I got rejected. What? So like a sensible person, I contacted support for more information on why my extension was instantly rejected since like, support means help, right? The next day, I log into my dev account and I get this wonderful message. Dear developer, your developer account has been suspended from the Chrome Web Store. If you think this has been applied in error, please submit a detailed appeal at the following link. Regards, the Chrome Web Store Abuse Team. I ask for help, but I get suspended immediately? Okay, sounds reasonable. After reading Google's long ass terms of service and research, I discovered publishing extensions go through an automated process and that my program had triggered some red flags. My violations stem from saving information without encryption and legal policy. To attempt to get my account back, I sent an appeal that read, I did not intend to create a malicious Chrome extension. I have no I idea what I'm doing. I did not know I violated I something legal. Please reinstate my issues. account. Thanks. A few days passed, and I get another email that my account was unsuspended. I celebrated, but I didn't change any of my issues because I was procrastinating, like usual. Next day, I wake up, and yet another beautiful email in my inbox titled, Developer Account Suspended. If you think this has been applied in error, please submit a detailed appeal at the following link. If you think this has been applied in error, in error, in error. I wrote an appeal yet again. I submitted an appeal to reinstate my account a few days ago, and my appeal was- Google, please unsuspend again. I swear I didn't do anything. Another day passes, and my account is unsuspended again. And after two days of intensive work, I was finished with the new version. I pressed publish, and then your item is pending review. So the waiting game began. Again. It's March 30th now and another email from my bay chrome web store dash devs dash support at google.com. Your item, Steam Activity Filter, did not comply with our developer program policies and was removed from the Chrome Web Store. Products must not contain false or misleading information in any content, title, icon, description, or screenshots. Really? Now it's an English problem, not a coding problem. I write a new description, my extension gets approved. Finally, my fight is over and I celebrate! But the party doesn't last very long. Your dev account has been suspended. Fight me, Google. Another appeal and then accepted. You know the drill. Republish my extension, more pending review, and soon thereafter it was accepted. From this point on, there were no more suspensions from Google. So I guess that means I'm in the clear now? I mean, after fighting Google for more than a week. On April 8th, I finally get a response to the support ticket I sent. Remember when I mentioned it in the beginning of this video? I mean, I understand late responses, but for more than a week? Oh, hell no. So I ignored the email. A week later, my dad and I went to go visit some California universities and we stopped by Google's headquarters up in Silicon Valley. I really wanted to call the support team and say, Sup bitches, I'm at your workplace. Please stop suspending my account. And we just took some dumb tourist photos, but in every photo you could see I was low-key salty at Google. Moral of the story is that Google's name is actually Google, as they're just some big corporate trolls. Please don't ban me off of YouTube.